Well, I have finished coding my app and I have my security rules set. I no longer have to worry about security. Did you, Did you remember, remember to, configure to configure app check? App check. You have an awesome API that you built and want to get directly into clients' apps. You come up with a solution that allows your users access to your API through an API key. All pretty safe, right? Well, what if your clients start embedding your API key in their client apps? Then anyone can decompile the source code and find your API key and make calls on the authorized client's behalf to your resources. Now your authorized client is open to their key being leaked and requests coming in fraudulently to their backend resources. What could we have done to help prevent this in the first place? Well, we could have started serving requests using AppCheck. AppCheck helps protect your API resources from abuse by preventing unauthorized clients from accessing your backend resources. AppCheck will test the requests originating from an authentic app and depending on the platform, it will also attest that the device is untampered. Let's take a look at how it works. Your app makes a request to an attestation provider, which verifies that you are a real user using a genuine app on a real untampered device. The attestation provider will supply an attestation assessment, which can be exchanged with Firebase for an app check token, as long as the assessment is positive and that the attestation request didn't occur from a potentially compromised device. After you have the token, you can then attach it in this header and send it along to your backend. Luckily, callable functions in Firebase automatically do this for you. If you are using the admin SDK, you can verify the token is valid and then perform whatever you are planning on doing with the function. What just happened there? We attached a header and use the admin SDK, but you might not always be using a language supported by the admin SDK. To consider this, we need to understand what an app check token is. An app check token is a JSON web token, also known as a JOT. It's then validated to prove that the JOT is valid and data can be served. These JOTs can be valid anywhere from 30 minutes to seven days, set by you in the Firebase console. Using a smaller TTL can increase the amount of latency that your application experiences as it uses eager refreshes to make sure that your app does not have a lapse in time when the token is good versus when it has expired, but will increase the security of your app. To decode the JOT and validate the token, you will want to download the Firebase AppCheck public JSON web key set from the public endpoint shown on screen. Then you will want to verify the token signature to ensure it's legitimate using a standard JWS library. Once the token signature is verified as legitimate, you will want to validate that the header contains algorithm RSA256 and is of type JWT. The next step is really important. You must ensure that the token is issued by Firebase AppCheck under your project and the audience contains your project number and your project ID. Validating the signature of the token can tell you it's legitimately signed, but validating that it belongs to the correct project is what stops you from accidentally approving someone else's minted tokens. Finally, we check that the date is not expired. As an optional step, you can also confirm the app ID in case you want to limit this endpoint to only some of your apps. If everything checks out, serve this request as you normally would. This would allow you to use any language that is not supported by the Firebase admin SDK to validate tokens. Since we understand JOTs now, you may think that this is great, but what stops someone from stealing a token and reusing this token until it expires? This is where replay protection comes in. Replay protection starts by doing what we did before with validating a token, but then it tracks if a token is used by sending the token to a Firebase endpoint which then stores the token's JWT ID claim or JTI and its current consumption state on the server. You merely make a request to the URL endpoint, supplying your app check token in the body of the request and wait for a response, which you can then decode and check whether the already consumed field is present and set to true. If it's present and true, throw out the request as the token is not valid. 
If the field is absent, continue processing and return a value as normal. The app check token is then consumed and cannot be reused on replay protected endpoints after this. The token can still be consumed on non-replay protected endpoints as it does not change any of the metadata associated with the token and the decoding of the token. There you have it. With a little bit of digging into AppCheck, we are able to understand what a token is and how to use it on our non-admin SDK enabled services. For more information on how to process tokens in your own backends, check out the resources below. I am Alexander Noe, reminding you to enforce AppCheck.